sometimes it's the littlest mistakes that are the most frustrating. I popped my microphone just inside my jacket and zipped it up a little earlier on. So I've just done a four minute talk with the microphone inside my coat so you couldn't hear any of it. Anyway, I'm just north of Skegness on in an artificial man-made beach. Talking to a guy who works on the beach, he said, there's a huge pipe behind the camera and they've been pumping millions of tons of sand from the sea to create this beach. That is, a, that is a, an amazing feat. But this is my opportunity to capture the photograph I've been after. Minimal long exposures, akin to Mark Rothko, if you've seen them. Band of sky, band of sea, and also band of sky, band of sea, smaller band of, of the foam. High tides in about 40 minutes, sunset in about an hour. It's because it's a new beach, it's a very clean beach. There's no rocks that I can see at the moment. Now I'm probably going to have to use my long lens. I did a few test shots with the shorter lens close to the sea, but you can see the shadow of the tripod because the sun's directly behind the camera. But the ones I've taken so far, I am I'm liking, I'm liking a lot. They work really, really well. Now, whether my idea of a, a triptych pre-sunrise, pre-sunset, sunset, and post-sunset works, I don't know. The problem I have is I'm gonna to have to move the camera. I want to stick it in the same, same spot. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to move the camera because as the sea recedes, I'm gonna to have to follow it. Didn't actually think of that. So the only filters I'll have on, I'll have on the polarizer, just to remove some of the, the sheen, the glare off the, the seat. It won't add any color because the sun directly behind the camera. And I, I used the 10 stop earlier on. So I'll use a 10 stop pre sunrise and probably move it down to the six stop. F16. Probably move that down to a 14, F11, maybe even F8, because essentially depth of field doesn't really matter because there's nothing I need to be sharp. I'm hoping that the sun as it sets casts some warm colour on the horizon mist because there is a bit of mist on the horizon. If that works, then that'll really add to the photograph photographs. I've got the 40-150 on, currently at 55, polarizer on, and just pop on the 10 stop. God, bloody sand, do not like sand. Oh, you can't be crushing waves, what a sound. I was a 200 manual focus on the front waves, F16, 50. Lucky. And it's on 50 for a second. Fifty second. The 10 stop equals. Quick cheat guide. So 30 is 30 seconds, 60 is 15 seconds, so 50th will be about 20 seconds. I always add a bit, so 25, 30 seconds. As you can see, it's not an exact science for me anyway. I always use the closest slot, nice and tight. For a start, everything's Sighting Duff. In reality, I don't really need the Lee sheet. So we've got live view. So, second time, I stand back. I don't think, in fact, no, I'm quite fortunate. The, the shadow that I'm casting is not in the frame. I've just got 
that bit there, nice. Click, step away from the camera and wait for the magic to behold. I'll probably zoom in a bit closer so I've just got the sea and the sky. I'll probably zoom in a bit closer so I've just got the, the foam and the sea. Let's have a look at that. That is, by simplicity, it's very, very best. Why complicate things? I'll just double check the settings. 30 seconds, F16, 55 millimeter, ISO 200. Histograms, nice, nice and middle. The blue slightly up, because there's a lot of blue in the scene. That is, that is wonderful. Move the again, time is on. Everything's level, the, the camera's button directly at the C. Just about, I think I might need to angle it left slightly. So, I've got time so I'm going to move it slightly. Should I put the screen down? Wearing away, a lot of lights banging onto the sensor. Nobody here. I feel I'm rushing. I feel I'm rushing for some reason. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, a tiny bit. Now, I do want to maintain some kind of third ish composition. Now I've just got the sky and the sea in. One third sky, two thirds sea. Four, three, two, one. There's a log there. An old tree branch that's not going to make its way anywhere near my composition. As tempting as it is. Lovely. So I'll remove the sky. I don't have to check the focus, as I said, but I'm gonna, it just feels, it just feels right to check it. I'm having a moment, I'm having a moment. So that's it for now. I'm having a quick rest, as I said. Come back, just as the sun sets. Hopefully get a bit colour on the horizon. There's no clouds to illuminate, but there are a couple of high clouds, but no clouds in the composition. No boats, no wind farms. I'm getting worried. I'm getting worried things are going well. Yep, stop rambling. Catch you soon, guys. See ya. Oh, well, the sun's dropping, as is the temperature. A bit of wind, so I'm hoping I can avoid any kind of wind noise. The temptation to grab that piece of wood is almost overpowering. The temptation to getting close to some of the pebbles and shells is overpowering. The temptation to turn the camera around and capture some of the Fluffy clouds in the sky is, oh, it really is. There's a tiny bit of, uh, yeah, the tiny bit of cloud where the sun's setting. I'm hoping that all I need is a little tiny glow. Just a tiny glow. So just a little stopper, don't need the big stopper anymore. Set at F16, set at ISO 200, sun manually focusing. I think it's going to happen. All I need is a tiny bit of colour on the horizon. 57 mil, left 16, I have still 200. Quarter of a second. So. Oh. Little stopper. Quarter of a second. 15 seconds. Yep. Yeah. And that'll get down to. 30 seconds shortly. Nice and clean. 
working on the sand really is a nightmare. Oh, abstracts all over the place here, focusing right in on the foam as it goes back. You've got the really pronounced white edge to the foam. I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, they're pretty much similar to what I had before. Well, in the words of Mick Jagger, you can't always get what you want. The sun sets in four minutes. All I want is a hue. All I want is a small, tiny hue just above the horizon. As the tide goes further out, the sand itself drops off, so there's more drama in the waves, which I'm okay with. So these photographs, they'll have no form, they'll have no real lines apart from the, the horizon, they'll have no real textures. There'll be no converging lines, no leading lines, there'll be no uh, patterns as such. And that's the nature of abstract photographs and abstract art for me. I have to work to understand and to read an abstract piece of art. Not like a, a constable or a heroine or a turner, where it's very descriptive. You can see the barn, you can see the, the horses and the cart, you can see the road, and the people walking around it. These, the, they're almost meditative, which is what I like about Mark Rothko's. Yeah, so that's eight seconds. I've dropped the f-stop to, I've dropped the aperture to 7.1 again, ISO 200 again. Just gonna zoom in here, yeah, no detail, and no horizon in that one. I've just got 90% the sea, nice, nice blue, nice pale blue. And I've got just at the very bottom, a little white band of, of the foam. Now these might not work. I might get home and I might think, what was I thinking? But I'm trying to discipline myself. I don't know why, I don't need to. The idea that you, you go out with your film camera, you take one photograph. Why? I've got a camera that can take hundreds of photographs. Take the photographs you need. I don't think using a film camera makes you a better photographer. I don't think taking one photograph on a shoot takes you, makes you a better photographer. What makes you a better photographer is becoming a better photographer. I need some sleep. No colour. No colour. Just brighten up the exposure slightly. Simplicity at its absolute finest. Nothing, not even me with my ability to force myself to see colour, can see colour. There's nothing, there's nothing, no colour at all. So I'm nearly done for tonight. It's back to the hotel via fish and chips. I've got my Mac so I might actually do some processing tonight. Alarm set for five o'clock in the morning to get a sunrise at Skegness Pier. Always get into the habit of checking your re che checking your settings now and again. What I did this morning, I had my ISO at 5,000 when I did some when I did a, a, a video using my camera. I forgot to reset it, so I did several photographs at ISO 5,000, which was wonderful. Getting a bit anxious. Anxious. 60 seconds is a long time. There's some awesome colour over there. Resistance isn't futile. That is me done. 
may I may not do a vlog tomorrow morning. If I do, it's been an absolute blast having you along. What an epic day this has been. It's amazing how much you can cram in to one day. I'll sleep tonight. Nothing's gone really wrong. Nothing's gone really wrong. Ooh. I've just seen. Have you seen the dark sand? It's going to incorporate the dark sand in it. Look at the bloody white pebble. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. Didn't think about that. The dark sand. I can't move that pebble. So I've got no sky. It's going to be 50 50 with a dark, wet sand. It's probably 40% water, 40% wet sand, and 20% the foam area. Last photograph. Oh, getting cold, getting cold. Yeah, I can highly recommend having a go at this. Not that it's anything original, but it's very, very relaxing. So this will be the last photograph of this evening. Let's have a look on the back, see what we've got. Oh, that pebble's on the third. That pebble's on the third. Is it a sign? No, that is me officially done for the evening. There's going to be no colour. There's no point in hanging around. I'm not going to hang off the star trail because I've had about an hour sleep in day and a half, two days. So that is a wrap guys. I'll see you maybe tomorrow morning if I do. I'll see it again. Pleasure. Enjoy yourself. Get yourself out. Make it happen. Good night.